Because of the trauma that she suffered as a child um, and the huge struggle she's been through, her development was slightly held back because she um, couldn't form any relationships with anyone because um, she didn't trust anyone and she'd been so hurt in the past. And so you're sort of watching someone grow up, really, in, the, in, a, in a slightly odd and um, uh, not necessarily healthy way. Um, and so in this film, you sort of find her... She is sort of a formed character in the way. She's, she's not a ward of the state anymore. She's entirely independent. Um, she has a lot of money. But she, I think, uh, you know, I see her as pretty lost. I think that she, for a long time, is a, she's a fighter, and I think that she, for a long time, had something to fight against. And then you sort of find her in this film not really having a purpose, I suppose. Um, and so she sort of makes lots of bad decisions in order to find one. Um, but she's, a, she's an incredibly, she's stronger than she looks and she's kind of the classic don't judge a book by its cover person, really. I loved the book because I thought, you know, it's, it's what, like 12 years ago? No, more longer than that. I mean, it's probably 12 years ago that I read them. Um, and I, at the time, you know, was a girl in my 20s and kind of reading about a girl in her 20s. I just found it quite kind of um, eye-opening, really. And especially a story which focuses around a woman and um, and that she's sort of the most interesting, like, person to follow in the story as well. Um, but, yeah, I was, a, I was a fan of the books, but obviously I've reread them and reread them and reread them now. My friends and family, I think, will just be... Like you didn't do that. You weren't. You weren't hitting that bloke, were you? I'd be like, yes, I was. Um, I'm really. I'm really tough now. Um, I think it's. You know, they know that. That that's the funny thing is that. <clears throat> I think from the outside, um, especially from the previous um, work I've done in the last couple of years, is that you'd think that possibly that this person isn't inside me, but all my family know that she is. <laughs> all my family know that there's Elizabeth Salander in there who's just um, aggrieved, angry, and wants to kill people. Um, and so they'll just be like, oh, there she is. <laughs> we recognize her. Um, we grew up with her. So they'll be like, oh, it's nice to see her again. But they'll probably be quite glad that she's on, on, a, um, uh, on a screen as opposed to, you know, next to them. I absolutely loved being in Berlin and also, um, in the rest of Germany, like it was absolutely beautiful. And we were in um, Sweden as well. Um, it was amazing and I think that's the thing is that you can't make a film like this which is relatively gothic and the landscape, you know, has, is so important to it. And so we just had to be there in the freezing cold. It, you know, <clears throat> it was difficult at certain points just because Elizabeth didn't really think about being warm. Um, and so there was an awful lot of thermals. Fede is a... Um, and lots of people already know it, but he genuinely is a very special director. He he is so musical. He understands filmmaking in a way that um, is he's sort of an audience member, but also the director at the same time, which I think is very very rare. Um, he understands when you need to change the rhythm and the pace of the film in order to communicate something about the story, but also to keep the audience interested, but also to. Um, let them learn something else about the character like he just he plots it all and knows it all in such a kind of musical way